And uh, away they go. Hazy, crazy night was a length slow. Wildest dreams broke out well with aerial view, trying to stick alongside. Then comes respectable miss, eternity ring, and heart sees off the course, has options, pushes forward, goes into third. Then we go a length away to go lightly, who's won from last. And hazy, crazy night, the back of the field. No more than six lanes cover them as they work their way through the final 1,500 metres. And the leader is Wildest Dreams, takes them along by a little less than a length over. Aerial View, who races away in second. Hot Seas didn't have any luck, went around, and she's probably going to pick up the lead by default. Then came Eternity Ring. The White Blinkers racing away in a share of fourth kept company by a respectable miss. Go lightly, one from last, leaving Hazy Crazy Night at the back of the field. Pace a lot more genuine down the back straight, but Wildest Dreams wouldn't let Hot Seas take the lead. There's half a length in it, but but Wildest Dreams was able to maintain that lead past the 1,000 metres mark. Heart sees a second. Aerial View races away in third at the outside of Respectable Miss in the black and white. Hazy Crazy Night has gained a couple of places with Eternity Ring, also black and white colours. Racing now one from last and go lightly at the end of the field. Pace could be a lot worse. Through the final 700 metres they go. Wildest Dreams still in the lead. Second place is Heart Seas. Then comes Respectable Miss who races away in third. Aerial Views in the silver Silver and red colours in fourth and three lanes off the leader. Then comes Hazy Crazy Night. Eternity Ring being asked to chase and go lightly dropped out to the back of the field. They're homeward bound and Wildest Dreams brought them into the home straight. Heart sees nags away. Then comes Aerial View followed by Respectable Miss. Hazy Crazy Night up the far side. Eternity Ring go lightly got the field to get past, past the 200 and Wildest Dreams found extra. Wildest Dreams two lengths in front. Aerial View Heart sees left for minor money. Wildest Dreams given a peach of a ride. Second goes the way of Heart Sees, then came Aerial View. Fourth, probably Hazy Crazy Night over Respectable Miss. And had Heart Seas didn't have much luck in running, to be fair. She was trapped out deep. Um, and then when she committed, Richard just said, Samunga, sorry, you're not having this. And uh, that was the message throughout the race. Wildest Dreams, the winner of race number three. Well, in a start-to-finish bid, Wildest Dreams has held them all at bay, and she's come away to win the first leg of the pick six under Richard Faree for the Allen Craft Yard. And Juice is her conditioner, has got her turned out beautifully this afternoon, and is in, in receipt of that 1,500 Rand World Sports betting um, voucher. So, Juice, congratulations. Well done. Um, yeah, again, these grooms, fantastic job on the horses, and Wildest Dreams turned out well. She finds the winner's box. And, Richard, I know... She's a beautiful horse to look at, but she's a lot of horse, and I know she can be a hard ride, and though she is out in front and looked to have it all her own way, I'm sure she was making you work for it. Oh, yes. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, jumped from a good draw. Uh, you know, obviously, myself and Louie were the fancied sort, but he was sitting on my girth, and his filly was pulling a lot, and you know, she wasn't going to the rail. She was staying toward like two, three horses off the rail, and I'm, I'm trying to get it to the, uh, you know, to the rail, but then... Um, Swanga so came around and oh, picked up the speed again and this filly took me on again and I thought, yeah, now we're really burning ourselves out here. Um, but then, yeah, just uh, before we came into that last bend, she went back to the rail. Um, about the 700, she started running off again. She is difficult. She's all over the place. But I thought we've done too much work and, you know, Louis probably sitting in a sweet spot right behind me and uh, came into the straight, gave her a bit of a breather. But when I asked her to quicken... She just quickened again. So it was a great win, nevertheless. I um, must say well done to all the owners. Thank you so much. And obviously to Mr. Khrif, sitting upstairs, not, not at his best no, yet. No, he's but, not uh, at his best. So he just needs to box race for a little bit. Um, but also to the team, all the guys doing all the hard work behind the scenes, and to my sponsors at Winning Pool. Well, certainly a, a good ride here. I know, uh, I know how, how hard she is to deal with. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. But certainly a win to take note of as well, because she did it all the hard way. Yeah, look, uh, she's an older filly now. Um, she's well in her place with her handicap, and whatever we get from, from here on in is just a bonus. Richard, run through the rest of your rides for us because you could have a good day, but you will need luck on a few of them. Central City, 
he shows that he wants the distance, but the mile to 2-2 is a big jump, and you have to respect horses like Zigzag and Quasimodo. Yeah, I just think uh, that last run with Quasimodo um, yeah. in the big race, that uh, ran a cracking second, and um, you know, Zigzag comes from off the pace. So, uh, saying that, it looks like a style of horse that uh, can flourish in the trip, and mm. must have his, his chances. Then, of course, Bournemouth, he's going to be much happier back up to the mile, but as usual, he cracks another terrible draw, and that's going to count against you. Yes, I'm drawn on the other rail, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he tries. He quickened up nicely in that bad uh, underfoot conditions the other day, so I feel like he's one of my strongest rides. Then Bella Belize races off a really good win, but she comes in as a clear-cut top weight. Yeah, look, she's honest. She gives us her best, and we just expect her to hold the form. Bonnaroo, I'm not worried about this one, I must say, because she's proven she can do it from a bad yeah, job. She's got that speed. She's got lightning speed, and uh, she's a big, striding filly, and she'll love those conditions. And then Silver Stardust, also the race off the back of a good win, but how is the cut back in trip from the mile to 13 going to affect him? Uh, well, definitely, and his draw is a little bit against him. Mm. He's a tough horse that needs good momentum. Um, so, yeah, he might get a little bit stuck uh, where he is, but uh, let's see, we might get lucky. Well, Richard, thanks for running through for us and Pleasure. very well done for this Thank lady. You. <laughs> Amos is going to step in and join us on behalf of trainer Alan Kreff, who you've heard is on race course, but he's upstairs and uh, on box rest. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Amos, you guys have done a great job. I can't imagine uh, everyone is in the same boat, but nevertheless, a very hard task at the moment to keep horses fit in the conditions, the, the waterlogged track. Yes, of course. And as you know, we have mentioned that uh, it's... Uh, it's uh, it's a, it's a big job, Nate, mm. to do. But, uh, you know, we've been there, as I've said before. You know, we know what to do. We know our horses. Sometimes we have to dig deep, you know, to get them right, to go or get them fit for races. But uh, here we are, Nate. We're standing there in the winning enclosure. Most definitely. And we've spoken to uh, Richard. You know this filly. She is strong as a bull, and he's done a great job. Yes, of course, Nate. She, she's a gutter filly, you know. Uh, I was worried at some stage when I saw what happened in the back straight, you know, when they... Challenge there, you know, she took the beat right there. I said, yeah. Oh my god, uh, we are a little bit of a corner there, but uh, I mean, she's strong, as you yes. know, she's very strong, and uh, she kept on going. And uh, she won a nice race, and uh, we're so happy for the Schechter family. Well done to them, and uh, of course, my boss upstairs, uh, we looking forward for him to you know, I mean, to get right, and uh, we need him, yeah, <laughs> most definitely. Yeah. Amos, congratulations! Thank you very much. <laughs> There you go, Amos giving us some feedback on Wilder's Dreams, a great winner here. You've heard from Richard, it wasn't all plain sailing and it does make that win win full of merit. So congratulations to Dr. and Mr. Schechter. Colours go a long way back in the yard and they're in the winner's box once again.